Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about an extreme upcoming storm that is going to race through the United States and bring plenty of severe weather for the central and the southeastern United States. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, when do you think our next severe weather event is going to be after this week's severe weather event is all said and done? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now let's just jump right into things and first things first, we're taking a look at our day one categorical outlook here and we have a general thunderstorm risk in all of these light green regions. This is where we expect some general thunderstorms but not really much severe weather. It is possible so you're going to still want to pay attention uh, but it's not looking very likely at this point. Now we also have that dark green region there for Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa. And that is our marginal risk there of severe weather. That was there yesterday, but the new addition here is that yellow region, our slight risk area there for Minnesota. Uh, they have upgraded us to a slight risk. So now for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have a slight risk of severe weather. So three days in a row. Here's our day one wind outlook. We have 5% chance within 25 miles of a given location of damaging wind there within the green. And then a 15% chance there in the yellow there for our slight risk region. The hail risk, you might not have even noticed that I just changed the screen, but it's the same exact thing, same exact chances for the same exact regions. For tornadoes, we have a less than 2% chance in all areas. This might get upgraded later on today, so you're going to want to pay close attention to this. Uh, but at this point, it seems like we're going to have less tornadic activity, more damaging wind, and more hail, which is very good news, by the way. So let's just go ahead and work through a little bit of our simulated radar. Later on, we're going to go through a more high-resolution edition, but this is our European model right now. And this is as of pretty much very early this morning, and there's nothing going on still. We're just closing out of that very boring pattern. But by the time we're reaching the afternoon hours of Tuesday, April 6th, so that's going to be tomorrow from the time I'm making this video, we're going to take a look at the severe weather threat in a moment for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday separately. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're taking a look at this strong low pressure system there, the 992 millibar low pressure center there over the panhandle of Oklahoma. This is also bringing moderate to heavy snowfall there for the Rockies and portions of the plains. And by the time we reach Wednesday afternoon, that's going to be, again, April 7th, you can see that we're pretty much closing out things by this point. All right, now let's take a look at that total snowfall because there is that snowstorm there for the Rockies. And I just want to go over this a little bit here with you guys. And if you're anywhere in the grades, we're taking a look at about a dusting, if anything, as far as snowfall is concerned. We have 2 to 6 inches of snow there for the blue regions, the purple regions 6 to 10, and then the pink regions 10 to 20 inches of snow. So this is going to be a pretty moderate to major snowfall event actually for this region. Uh, we have, again, 10 inches of snow expected for the Plains, a, a large chunk of the Rockies there, and then even the Cascade Mountains there in Washington. So a pretty decent snowstorm up there we're expecting. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on, and we're going to take a look at that more high-resolution model. We're just going to jump into that and take a look at that day one severe weather risk, and then we're going to move on to Tuesday and then Wednesday, and then we're even going to take a look at the extended range for Thursday, Friday, and beyond. All right, now here we are taking a look at our shear, and this is one of the reasons why we're not taking a look at too large of a, of a tornado risk here for day one. This is at about 8 p.m. today, uh, which is when most of those storms are going to be firing up. Uh, you can see our, our shear is moderate at best, so we have a lot of those browns up to the north where we're not really expecting any thunderstorms. And that would be a little bit more sufficient if that was lined up better with our thunderstorms. But for now, we're kind of in the greens and yellows where those thunderstorms are firing up, which is not going to be too good. And if you look at our significant tornado parameter, this is going to be very minimal. Here we have anywhere from about a 1 to maybe a 2 here showing up uh, here for first off Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa, and then even uh, in through Minnesota as well, which is not going to be anywhere near the highest end of the spectrum. Again, our outbreaks that we had for the previous weeks, we were looking at like 30. Uh, so we're, we're way, way, way low on the significant tornado parameter at this point. Our cape, however, is going to be quite high and substantial. That's why we're expecting a pretty decent chance for some hail and damaging winds and nasty thunderstorms, just not a large chance of tornadoes. So we have the 2,000 to 3,000 cape going on throughout all of these yellow and red regions, uh, which is going to be very, very sufficient for uh, thunderstorms and severe weather to develop. The temperatures for the upper Midwest, you guys are going to be loving it today because at 8 p.m. you're still at about 76, 77, even 80, even 85 for some of those regions up there. It is going to be very nice for all of you up there, and I'm sure this is probably your warmest temperatures of the spring so far. Here's our simulated radar by about 
This is about 11 p.m. tonight. So this is going to be a late night event here, firing up those thunderstorms for Nebraska, South Dakota, and Minnesota there in that high Cape region. And you can see they're kind of just isolated to scattered here. Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota still seeing them by about 4 a.m. Uh, let's just go ahead and move on to our day two categorical outlook now. And as you can see, we have, again, the general thunderstorm risk there in the green, the lighter green, and that's still where you want to pay a little bit of attention there. The darker green is where we get the marginal severe weather risk, and that's where we're going to have some more isolated events within there. We are expecting severe weather to be possible. And then our slight risk region here for Kansas, Missouri, and also in through Oklahoma, that is where we have a slight risk of severe weather, and that is where we expect some more scattered to widespread severe weather to begin to occur there within that region. Our day two wind outlook here, again, 5% chance there within the green, within 25 miles of a given location, 15% chance there in the yellow. Uh, and then the hail outlook for a second day in a row is almost identical there. Well, it is identical, actually. And then our day two tornado outlook, we actually have a 2% chance of tornadoes here for day two. So for Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma, we're going to be watching for some potential tornado activity on day two, which is tomorrow from the time I'm making this video, Tuesday, April 6th. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the modeled guidance for day two. Uh, and we will even move on to some other days beyond that as well in just a moment. All right, now here we are taking a look at that surface based cape again, convective available potential energy. This is thunderstorm food. So this is basically what thunderstorms use to intensify further and further and further. The more of this you have, the more intense the storms can get. That's a general rule of thumb. Not always the case, but uh, generally that is how it goes. So this is a very crucial factor for severe weather, and that's why I use it very frequently. And as you can see, by time we're taking a look at about maybe 6 p.m. here on Tuesday, April 6th. Uh, we do have those 1,000 to 3,000 amounts showing up even beyond that in some spots here. Uh, maybe even 3,500 for some of those spots there for Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, let's just take a look at those temperatures. And as you can see, again, 60s, 70s, it's going to be good enough for sure. Dew points are going to be in the lower 60s. So I think this is why we're kind of going to take a look at a little bit more of a, a lessened severe weather risk. If, if it was, you know, dew points in the mid to upper 60s, we would be taking a look at a much larger chance here of severe weather. So I think we will stick at a slight, possibly go enhanced, uh, but I like enhanced. I think I like slight for this day, actually. Uh, so let's take a look at that simulated radar, and this is by about 12 a.m. there on Wednesday, heading into Wednesday, uh, April 7th here. And you can see there will be some thunderstorms already for Kansas there. But take a look at our significant tornado parameter. We do have very large amounts down there for the south. But most of this will be too far south. So this happens pretty often. Uh, and those really bad tornado events is when this lines up perfectly with where you're expecting those severe thunderstorms. But that is not the case today. That significant tornado parameter is peaked out for Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, but it really doesn't reach too far into Kansas where we have that slight risk of severe weather. At most, we see maybe a 2 to 4 there, which is going to be a kind of a moderate. So I do agree with the 2% chance of tornadoes. I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe an upgrade to a 5% chance somewhere in there, but I also would not be surprised if we just stick with the 2% chance. I think that's a very good place for this severe weather event here. Let's take a look at that simulated radar by time we're at about, I would say, 3 a.m. here on April 7th. And as you can see, we do have those thunderstorms still going on for Kansas. They're probably a little less intense by this point. We do have a kind of line of showers down there for Oklahoma, but I think it's too little too late there. So I don't think this is going to add up uh, to much. Now on day three, we have an avocado here. Just kidding, we don't have an avocado. We have a marginal risk of severe weather there in the darker green. We have a slight risk of severe weather there for Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi. Uh, again, that is where we're expecting the more scattered severe weather. And on day three, which is going to be Wednesday, by the way, uh, I do think there is a chance that we will go enhanced here for this day. I think they've left a lot of room for that, and I wouldn't be surprised if on Wednesday we do have an enhanced risk. We have a very large uh, general thunderstorm risk as well. Uh, basically reaching from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So there's going to be plenty of thunderstorms throughout the day here on day three. Uh, we don't get any of the individual outlooks here for day three. They only do that on day one and day two. So let's just take a look at our uh, model guidance. So this is going to be a little lower resolution because we're taking a look at a longer range outlook. But this is by 7 p.m. there or 8 p.m. on Wednesday. And as you can see, we're going to have anywhere from about 1,000 to 2,000 to maybe 2,500 Cape here for Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi. That will be sufficient. Here is that simulated radar, which is very low resolution, but you can see there is some yellow showing up that's probably thunderstorms by this point. Now, I wanted to mention Thursday, we're going to have a substantial amount of Cape, 2,000 to 3,000 throughout these yellows and oranges, uh, and we will have some storms rolling through, as you can see, 
up to the north heading south there. So I do expect a, quite a bit of severe weather on Thursday. And here's Friday. Take a look at that. 3,000 to 5,000 capes showing up for these reds and purples here for Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Alabama. And there will be storms in the area, as you can see, uh, by about maybe maybe by about 7 p.m. here on Friday. So Friday could be a big day as well. And look, the shear is going to be pretty substantial as well. So there's a lot of parameters there. And I, I really think uh, later this week we could get into more interesting severe weather situations. Me and Brendan are already prepared to go live if need be. I think he plans on possibly going live for some of these more smaller uh, severe weather risk days throughout the week as well. So be sure to check out his channel, by the way, Direct Weather 2. That's in the description and it's in the pinned comment down below where you can check that out because he might be going live throughout the week this week. Uh, and also our Discord server, by the way. I didn't shout that out today, but we have that Discord server now open, and we have that in the pinned comment and in the description down below where we just chat all the time about weather. It's so much fun, and I even hop in that voice chat sometimes. I might even do that again today and just talk with some of you guys for 20, 30 minutes about the weather. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you could be a part of that. Anyways, for today's confidence tab, we are at a 4 out of 6 still. Obviously, the Storm Prediction Center has yet to say anything for Thursday or Friday, so I am still awaiting that information. We have a slight risk for three days in a row here, which will be plenty of severe weather. We will see some dangerous situations with three days of severe weather, uh, but it might get a little bit worse as we head towards Thursday or Friday, but that's a bit of a question mark, so that's why I'm keeping us at a 4 out of 6 instead of a higher confidence rating there. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, do you think there will be a moderate risk at any point this week? And James Moore said, yes, I do believe we will have a moderate risk. So we're going to wait and see. It seems a little bit too little too late at this point. I think it still is possible for maybe Thursday or Friday if the Storm Prediction Center becomes a little bit more confident. Uh, but at this point, they don't even have a 15 or a 30% chance of severe weather. So I don't think they're seeing what I'm seeing at this point. I think we're seeing it a little differently. Uh, and, and I could be wrong. So I, I do think there is a good chance of severe weather on Thursday or Friday, though. I'm sticking to my um, I'm sticking to my gut feeling there. I really, based on what I'm seeing, and Brendan has agreed with me on that as well. Uh, so we both feel like there's a good severe weather chance later this week as well. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Property Damage, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Alan Belemo, Adam S., Larry the Pan, Donna Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis, alongside our Diamond Patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Sherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Buell, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Garys, and Chon Kualisi. If you would like to be a part of this patron end screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pit comments down below. I would also like to thank our very awesome channel members, our Weather Top Dog, Hair Farms 1, and then also our super fan, Phoenix Nimitz. If you would like to join this channel membership, you can do so by clicking that button next to the subscribe button and join our very awesome channel membership today. Anyway, guys, be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.